Hey guys, welcome to yet another video. Um, today, I'm going to be talking more on the gun side of things, and I'm going to be talking about something else that I actually regret buying. This is something that I bought that I thought would actually be, you know, great. I, I, I thought it would help me a lot. I thought it would be, you know, just this great, great thing. You know, I thought this was going to be a big thing, and I thought, no, it wasn't. And that's the reality. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was misconceived. So th this great thing that I've been, look, you know, t want to talk about, and this is actually something I've been looking at for probably almost about 10 years at this point. I got it a couple years ago, uh, and I've never actually used it, but let let's stop, you know, beating around the bush. I'm talking about the Urban Carry G3. I got the Captain for left-handed. So I got this for my Glock 19, barebone Glock 19 Urban Carry G3. Right, and for those of you guys that don't know, what is an urban care? You know, what is urban care? Well, they're, they're a manufacturer that makes some holsters. Uh, particularly, they kind of start, they kind of specialize in the deep concealment, right? Well, when you think of deep concealment, usually you think of uh, pocket carry or like a jacket carry or something like that. Well, they wanted to kind of change the game a little bit, and they kind of did, and they made this thing, uh, which is a deep concealment holster. So this doesn't go on the outside, obviously, of your waistband. This doesn't go underneath your waistband on the inside it goes in your pants so like it's a little bit different so the way it works let me see if i can get this figured out all right so the way it works is this your belt will go around here like that my two fingers that's the belt if my side is the inside of the, the pants so this goes around it so from the outside all you're going to see is this little clip area that pretty much that square which is a magnet that's all you're going to see all right so all this right here is tucked into your belt so you put your firearm in here it's tucked into your, not your belt, your pants. The idea is that you put it in and then whenever you need it, you pull up on this and I mean, it's gonna be pressed up against your body. So you pull up on this and then like that and it pulls it out and your belt is still holding it down here and you pull it out and it presents your firearm. So your firearm is gonna be like up here, right? Now, how does it hold the firearm? How does the firearm not go flying out? A tensioner thing right there. I can't remember if it actually has a magnet in there or not, but. It does have a tensioner thing down there that will clip on. So it, it does hold it. So I'll give it that. It holds the firearm. It's not, in my opinion, inherently unsafe. It's just not the best item for me. And at least not right now. It didn't fulfill the expectations I thought it was going to do. And that might have been just because of my own idiocracy. Now you might be question, you know, asking a question, well, why? why? Why doesn't this fulfill the expectations? Well, there's a few reasons. First of all... <sighs> When you have this in, you know, you're looking for something that's going to conceal better, right? You're looking for something that's not going to be as visible. You're looking for something that on your waistline, you know, you're not going to see anything. And you're not going to see anything suspicious. It, that that doesn't work for me. Because when I have the, this with my, with my pistol in it, it sits on my thigh, right? And I have pretty big thighs. I have some thick thighs, all right? And when I have pants over it, you see this big-ass bump on my thigh, so it's sitting like this on my thigh, right? This is my thigh. And when it has a gun in it, it sticks up to like, like that, about, you know? So when you have jeans, instead of just seeing my thigh, you see this big lump on my thigh. And it just like, I know you're probably not gonna be able to tell that it's a firearm, but you, you some, if you're sitting down and anyone looks at your thigh, they're gonna be staring at your thigh trying to figure out what in the world that is. And it could, you know, they could figure that out. I, I can see this working maybe for some like a smaller firearm, but at that point, why don't you just pocket carry? Or, you, you know, it just doesn't make sense to me. And I'm just talking from my experience and my weight, right? So I'm, I have thick legs. I, I'm sure that, because I've seen videos for some people that are thinner, some people that have a smaller frame than me, some people that are a little bit more fit than me, you know, their jeans might not be as tight when they sit down. Their jeans might not be, you know, grabbing their legs as tightly. They might be a little bit looser. They might be able to get away with it on a smaller firearm. But for me, it just doesn't work. That's number one problem. That's no, that's my first kind of problem is the, is the whole thing where it, it, even when standing up, it was like, it almost, okay. It almost, <laughs> it looked, it almost looked like, I, I'm not even going to say it. But uh, here I am standing, you know, and then th if this is my thigh, right? I mean, the holster would like stick out. Like it almost like pushes up against your my uh, my jeans. Even when my jeans are loose, it would just push up against it. Uh, that's just because my thighs are, are, are shaped weird. My thighs aren't like flat. I'm not skinny. My thighs are like kind of shaped, bent, 
in, right? So this is like my waist right here. This is my waist. My thigh kind of goes out and then there's my knee right here, right? Well, it sits right here. So it sticks out like that. You know, it wants to point for like, it doesn't work. That's my number one complaint. My number two complaint, part of it is with being a bigger guy is it is extremely hard to effectively get out of concealment. Like, I, I don't know if I have a video of this or not, and I might make a video, but there have been times that I was trying to test it out with, with this was with a firearm in, I think, with a firearm in, and I kid you not, I was standing there, you know, trying to grip this thing, and I was just standing there like, like this, trying to, trying to rip it out. And it took me about three or four times until I would finally able to rip it out. And the reason is because I'm fat. It really is. It, it, it's, uh, I wouldn't put it too much up against the actual manufacturer of the firearm. It just not a good coaster for fat people. All right. Cause you have to sit here and fucking, Ooh, Ooh, you know, it, it's, it's not going to work out great. You'd have to sit here and like hold your fat up and then try to rip it up. It, Listen, don't get it. If you're fat, just don't get it. End of story, you know? And what are you going to do with this? Hold it, carry it in the six o'clock position. How is that going to work? You're going to go over here, get your buddy to like reach down your pants and fucking whoop. And then they're going to take your fire. And, you know, it's not going to work. If you have a big gut, big stomach, no, just don't get it. Um, now, I can't speak for people who are more in fit, people who have a, you know, pretty much a flat stomach to, 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 to waist ratio, you know? where it's flat because I, i'm sure that'll that'll work a lot better because when it sits in your belt you don't have a gut hanging over it you got sits in your belt and it'll want to go up just like that that's kind of my, my second grievance with it now onto my third one you know what kind of advantage does it really give you at the end of the day right does it just give you like the advantage of of being able to think like oh well i have something in deep concealment so you know i'm suddenly less detectable why why are you doing deep concealment do, is it something you really have to do because and if you don't have to do deep concealment it's better not to i can understand for some people deep concealment might be it might be great if they're you know doing stuff where their shirts coming untucked or they're running around stuff like that not 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 in any combative way but just whatever they might be doing i can understand wanting to have something in deep concealment for that because you don't want your firearm showing or or you know your holster flying out or something like that but you know, is it necessary for some people? Maybe, but for the majority of us, I don't think so. Uh, I, I, I really don't think so. I don't think this, this holster is necessary because essentially what it does is as, as it, as it should, it puts it into deep concealment. But what does that mean? It means it's harder to get to less accessible. It's going to take longer and there's more steps that, that have to happen to you get to your firearm that could lead to a failure or could lead to a snag or could lead to something else. And at the end of the day, if you're in a position where you really need that firearm, I mean, as the saying goes, when seconds matter, police are minutes away. And, you know, I'm not going to get too far into it, but, you know, you do need a reliable way to get to your firearm. And in my opinion, as of right now, I don't think it is the best deep concealment option. If I needed to have something really in deep concealment, I would much rather have had a uh, pocket holster. And actually, I can go get one real quick. So I would much rather have a pocket holster, something like this. Um, preferably maybe with something a little bit stickier or something that will really stick in your pocket. Um, this is my P365, it is unloaded. But I would much rather have a pocket holster like this that I can just quickly reach in my pocket and, and, and draw from. Because um, I feel like, it's just a lot easier to get to um in my pocket you don't you don't see the gun it is you know you're not gonna see it um there's no imprint of, of a gun it looks like you have something in your pocket but it looks like a phone or something you know even my phone's actually a little bit bigger than this i think well it's about the same size you know it's gonna be about the same size as your phone but i'd much rather have that you know a micro compact or some sort of smaller pistol than something and deep concealment where it's going to be almost impossible for me to get to. I, I usually just carry, you know, on my side with the Kydex holster. I don't do deep concealment usually. Well, almost never. I've done it a few times in certain circumstances when it's appropriate, but it's not my first option. Just don't go with the urban carry, if I'm going to be honest. Unless, unless you're skinny and unless you're fit, unless you have a legitimate reason to, which I can see there are some reasons where, you know, have a legitimate reason to, but otherwise... 
I mean, I would not recommend going with the Urban Carry. Now, just, 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 just a disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I am not paid to say this. This is just my own experience as a customer. I bought this 100% myself. I was not sent anything. This is just my own experience. I'm wanting to share with you guys, especially you guys that are a little bit bigger, because I want you guys to understand what I have, uh, you know, the struggles that I've had to go through with, with this with this holster. I'm not saying Urban Carry is a bad company. I still like them. I think they make some cool holsters. I still think it's a, you know, a cool idea. I just don't think it's for everyone. And when I first saw their ads, I, I was like, oh, that's so cool. But, you know, I was kind of, I bought into the hype. And again, I was a lot younger at that time. But I bought into the hype, and the hype just wasn't real for me. It, it just didn't work out for me. So I just wanted to give you guys a little, little disclaimer there and a little, a little warning and a little bit more information so you're a little bit more, a uh, little bit more well informed about about purchases and about what's out there on the market. And hopefully this helps you make a decision on whether to buy it or not. Maybe you do want to buy it after this, after what I've said. Maybe you don't. But at the end of the day, I hope you end up being a happy customer with whatever you end up getting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I'm sure you guys have seen my little patch wall. I haven't added to it actually in a few months now, but I've got SIG back here. I've got American flags. I got Roof Korean, which is still one of my favorite patches. Got Royal Range. That's the range I go to. Kartcon Airsoft. That's uh, I've done Airsoft in the past. Kartcon is a field uh, not too far away, but Kartcon Airsoft. So uh, th those were some uh, good good times, fun experiences. Anywho, but for now, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like down in uh, down below. Make sure to leave comments down below what you guys think about the Urban Carry, and if it has worked for you, then hey, let me know. For now, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Lucas, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.